guys, it is me, KSL of KSL Tech Studios, and today we have an unboxing of the Sony Handycam HDR PJ540. And this is quite important because I will no longer be filming the videos with this camera, the Olympus TG620. So, let's just take a look around the box before we get around to unboxing this, which I am very excited to do so. So, let's go ahead and zoom out just a bit. There we go. So, at the front we have Sony Handycam, uh, the picture of the thing, some people, and Sony HDR PJ540 with the NTSC, and uh, optional accessory being the extended battery. And now we're kind of looking at the front. We have Sony again, HDR PJ540 Handycam, World Cup Brazil. This is last year's model, as you can see. Um, Wi Fi NFC. All the different features. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want to look at all those, but whatever. Um, this side, we have some features such as the balanced optical steady shot, built in projector with the internal input, uh, 5.1 channel microphone, and the motion shot video, which I have no use for. And the back right here just says um, different uh, forms of memory cards, I guess. Uh, HDMI. Made works with PlayStation for some reason, and works with iMovie, Play Memories, and uh, Stamina. I don't know. Um, and we have just continuous recording time for the built-in memory. And here's just a side, some more optional accessories, colored black, and the model number and some other stuff. So let's get into unboxing this, shall we? Let's go ahead and open it up. Here on the inside it says, please read the operating guide and caution when handling. When using, it's not a failure if the projector gets hot. This unit uh, sounds when it's shaken with power off. A uh, USB cable and be sure to use that little extender thing they have with it. Whatever. Let's open it up. Here at the top we have our Sony Consumer One Year Warranty. Sony Limited Warranty. Sony accessories, thinking. Sony receive 15% on accessories. Don't forget to register your new product today. Uh, operating guide in English and operating guide in French. So here we go. We're going to open up the flap. And let's get to the boring stuff first. So this first thing, yeah, what is it? The first thing we have is a USB extender cable right here. It's just a USB, with another USB right there. This cable we have right here, we use a um, micro HDMI to HDMI, very nice. Right here is our bat. no, this is not our battery, this is our Sony power adapter, which is a 1.5 amp, that's a little weird. I've never seen a 1.5 amp. So I don't know, will this work on an iPhone charger? We'll see. Hope it will. But I'm probably going to be charging it off the computer anyway. And here's our battery pack, which we will have to install. It's a Infolithium V type battery. Definitely very cool. Let's put that off to the side. And now to the main show. There we go. The Sony HDR PJ540 Handycam. Definitely a work of art. Let's go ahead and open it up. Very nice. Very, it feels kind of light, but that is kind of to be expected with a new, new camcorder nowadays, considering they've definitely cheapened their materials from back in like 2005. I think I'm interested in looking at. Yes, that is a micro USB connection right there, which I hope can be used for charging. Uh, micro SD, some logos here. Let's just take a tour around. So on this side we have HD, AVC, HD, uh, 9.2 megapixel stills, uh, Handycam logo, Sony. The front we have our... Yes, there is a lens thread. Thank you, Sony. You provided me with a lens thread. Thank you. That's very nice. We have our Sony lens at the front with our automatic lens cover, as you can see. Sony lens G. Let's go ahead and focus. There we go. Sony lens G with wide angle. Um, I'm not sure what that is. That's probably something to do with the aperture. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not very good into this. 
uh, 30x optical and so we go this side we have our hand strap I'm kind of small and cheap feeling uh, here is the micro USB port as stated earlier uh, over here just some logos NFC micro SD and memory stick logo here is the power charge light I don't know um, start stop button and down here I didn't notice this there's a DC in connection so if you have a DC adapter that looks sort of like that plug it in back here is our info lithium V battery slot very good and we're kinda of back to the let's check out the top top it claims 60 times ear clear image zoom sorry which does not mean optical it's actually has a 30x optical Um, down here, well, no, it also says 5.1 channel surround mic. Down here is our accessory shoe, as we can see right there. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get it closed, but there we go. Uh, our zoom control and our photo button. And on the top, kind of edge here, we have Exmor, balanced optical steady shot, and Wi-Fi. So let's open it up. We have our 3-inch touchscreen projector focus slider and power play our preview button um, the narration cutoff button and the projector button right here we have our microphone input and headphone output very nice and down here we have our HDMI projector in HDMI out and an SD card or memory stick duo slot so let's see if this battery has some charge left in it. Let's go ahead and pop it in. Oh, I forgot to show the bottom. Silly me. So here we have our um, battery eject slider. Down here is just some Sony uh, inf product information. Uh, over here is our tripod screw. And way down here is uh, the third channel, one of the microphone channels. Let's go ahead and pop our info lithium battery in here. Let's go ahead and put on our hand strap. Hand strap's just a little too tight. Let's go ahead and maybe loosen that just a bit. Just a bit. Let's go ahead and tighten that over the Velcro. I have to look at this through the viewfinder the way I'm kind of standing around the camera. Open it up. Will the Sony boot up? Or is it dead? Let's check that out. I'm thinking it's dead, guys. So, I'm probably going to have to charge this camera before we can set it up. I'll plug it into my computer and see what happens. So, be right back. Hey, guys. I'm back. And this camcorder is finally charged. So, how about we open it up and set it up? So as you could hear, the lens cover opened, and we are greeted with our language selection. So we will select English, and click Next. Let's click Next. I will have to set my... I'm thinking I'm 6. Am I 7? I'm not 100%. Um, I'm seven, I'm thinking. I don't know. Uh, yes, it is daylight saving this time. Um, go month, day, year. The, some children laughing outside, clearly. As you could hear, my window's open. So, it is the 5th, it was May. May, no, it's actually June now, sorry about that. It's the 3rd, 2015. Not gonna make that mistake, like, again. Time is 7.25 p.m.
There we go. It rolled over. It's 7.25 p.m. There we go. I. It is 7.25 p.m. Okay, I'm guessing I am in that time zone. Um, I will not be using play memories. I think I'll just be using the finder today. So, as you can see, we are now booted into the screen right now of the main screen of the camcorder. So, sorry about that. Um, I think we're going to go outside. Let's focus already. Or maybe do a little bit of inside footage as well. Come on, focus. There we go. Sorry, this camera has a little bit of trouble focusing. There we go. Um, so we're probably going to go outside and do some test footage with this thing. Or maybe inside as well. I don't know. Well, we'll see. So, now on to the tests. And various test footage and test pictures and various tests of everything. Test of close-up recording on the Sony PJ540 Handycam. The color reproduction seems a little bit brighter. Just to test of how the Sony HDR PJ540 Handycam adjusts to different amounts of light. As you can see, it's quite quick, but yet the tint that is starts to become blue, but then starts becoming a normal color. Just a moving recording test of the Sony HDR PJ540 Handycam. As you can see, the video is quite stable because of the balanced optical steady shot included in this model. Now, it does switch into an automatic macro mode if you get close enough, as we saw earlier. Here is yet another test of how the Sony HDR PJ540 Handycam reacts to going into bright light into slightly dimmer light. As you can see, the colors become quite light, then the color reproduction is still quite bright, and you can see there was a little candle icon that has, light up, that has lit up to show that the handicam was in a low light situation. But yet again, the colors are a little bit brighter on the handicam than they appear in person. This is just a zoom test of the 60x clear image zoom or the 30x optical zoom on the Sony HDR PJ540 Handycam. To test the zoom, we will be zooming in on those flowers in the distance. Here we go. What flowers are those? I just watered them. There we go. Some lavender. Very quick zoom test of the zoom on the HDR PJ540 Handycam by Sony. This is just a quick low light test of the Sony HDR PJ540 Handycam. As you can see, where there is light, the light sensitivity is quite high. The light sensitivity, it's definitely much brighter than it actually is outside, so that is a very nice function. Now, since there is no light here, and unfortunately there is no video light in this particular model, there is no video light in this particular model, and there is also no night shot capability, it does limit its ability to be useful in low light situations. But nonetheless, it is a very solid performer in a low light situation as well as a normally or well lit situation.